Dear children, welcome back to the English class. In this video, you are going to learn the chapter 13 genders from your English grammar textbook. So today, let us study about genders. Let us understand what is the meaning of gender and how many types of genders we can see in our daily life. So here there are three types of genders. How many types of genders are there? There are three types of genders. So what are genders? The first type is masculine gender. Here you can see a group of men. So they are standing. A group of men are standing. So they belong to masculine gender. Masculine gender means group of males is called to be the masculine gender. Next gender is feminine gender. What is the meaning of feminine gender? What do you can observe here in the second picture? Only the women and the ladies, the group of ladies, women and girls are standing. So this is a group of female. So it is called to be feminine gender. At last we have neuter gender. What is the meaning of neuter gender? Neuter gender means a group of things is called to be neuter gender. Let us understand one by one. Masculine gender. Masculine gender. It refers to males. The important thing here is it refers only to males. Words such as man, boy, harry, lion, cock, he and his are of masculine gender. We say man, he is a man. He is a boy. That boy's name is harry. That is a lion. Lion means it comes under Male, that is masculine gender. Cock is a masculine gender. He, his are used only for males. So they all belong to, these words all belong to masculine gender. You can see the picture. This is a group of males. So it's a masculine gender. Coming to the next Feminine gender. It refers to females. Words such as women, girl, pile, lioness, hen, she and her are of feminine gender. So here this is a group of female and usually we call female as women, girl, pile, Pile is a name of a girl. Lioness. Lioness is a female lion. Then hen, she and her. These are feminine gender. So these words are feminine gender. The third type, neuter gender. It refers to non-living things. Words such as spoon. Bed, light, purse, road and all these words are of neuter gender and especially it. It is used only for things. So this is a group of neuter gender. So what do you find here? Non-living things. You can see the picture here. It's a group of non-living things. Spoon, bed, light, purse, road. They are the group of non-living things. 
so it's a neuter gender look at the picture and read the following sentence look at that boy you can see boy is highlighted here he is my younger brother my father loves him very much so here what do we understand when we read these three sentences boy brother father they are nouns nouns means name of a person and the pronouns are he and him this stand for male so they are masculine gender so here boy brother father he him they all stands for male so it is called to be masculine gender let's see this picture and let's read the sentences here look at the girl she is my younger sister my mother loves her very much girl sister and mother are nouns pronouns such as she and her stand for female they are feminine gender when we read the sentence we found that girl sister mother she and her belong to feminine gender let's read the following here this is my house it has a beautiful garden this is my house it has a beautiful garden house and it is highlighted look at this spoon it made it is made of steel spoon and it i have a pet cat it is on the table house spoon pet cat are nouns so cat is a living thing but we can't say what type of cat is a male or female so we are saying only cat so now let's see a pronoun such as it stands for house spoon and cat so it is a neuter gender so we are saying it is a neuter gender and spoon and house also is a neuter gender as it is a non living thing so we should say that the things which are not living are neuter gender sometimes we use neuter gender for animals also we use it to refer to animals so the pronouns i me you we us can be either masculine or feminine so these are the pronouns they can be masculine or feminine that is i me you we us the pronouns such as they and them may be masculine feminine or neuter so they and them is used for this three genders masculine feminine and neuter let's read the sentences given here the boys are waiting outside ask them if they want to come in now them and they so this denote boys so it's a masculine gender the girls have just come home they are going for a school picnic they refers to feminine gender because it denotes girls here are some good books they have many beautiful pictures in them again they and them for new term gender because they and them speaks for books so dear students this is a short explanation on the chapter 13 from the english grammar textbook topic gender kindly go through once again and understand the three, three types of gender and the words we use such as pronouns where we use and how we need to use them correctly thank you